<laughs> All right, guys, this, this character here is a madman from outside, if you remember. This one's the hustler, and this one is, come on, the usual suspects. Okay. What, huh? I didn't hear you. Oh, no, no, no. We, I said we got the usual suspects. We got the madman, the hustler, and you. You're the strong man. All right. I'm the muscle. <laughs> yeah. I'm the muscle. What's your name? Uh, Manny. Manny, and you are? Steve. And you are? Scott. That's to remind our viewers, because we had a previous video with two of these gentlemen, the third one. The enforcer is the new one, and they're all independent pipe makers. Let's start from the right. Tell us about yourself, sir. Uh, I'm Manny from Oswano Handmade. I make pipes and Shows other your cards gifts as well uh -huh. for the discerning gentleman, as you can see there. Can you hold your card up just so I can focus in on it and I'll give people your contact information? Handcrafted accessories for the discerning gentleman. Okay. There you go. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, I'm just trying. Oh, okay, fine. Now it's in sharp focus. Where do you uh, where do you make your pipes? Where do you source your briar from? Um, I get most of my stuff from Steve Norris. Um, I use Mimo Briar, uh, Italian. That's good stuff. Um, I've used others in the past, but I, I like the Mimo Briar the best. So that's kind of what I'm moving to exclusively. Um, I also do shaving brushes, pampers, and other things like that. You uh, ebonite lucite for your mouthpieces? Um, mostly ebonite. Um, I will use acrylic if you know if the color scheme calls for it. Um, but I do like doing accents and different colors and things. <laughs> are there any particular tobaccos that are uh, good with your pipes that you recommend? <laughs> Orientals, uh, Englishes, Virginias, Balkans? What do you think goes well with your pipes? Um, I don't tend to make overly large pipes, so the, the chambers are medium to smaller size, so um, Virginias tend to do better. Okay. What do you see uh, happening in the current pipe market right now? Any trends, ideas? Um, I don't know, it, it's, uh, it's interesting because with the whole FDA thing going on, you know, a lot of people have left the industry, so, mm -hmm. you know, there's, we're, we're kind of left with what we were going to have going forward. So, I mean, there's always new stuff happening and, you know, people doing interesting things. You know, I'm just kind of not quite starting out, but trying to find my place here. And, you know, Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. It's been a pleasure doing the video with you.